Now let's look at accuracy and precision. Now in this part guys, we have to give it a little limit. So if say for example we have a value, like an actual value of some, I don't know, some capacity or some length, whatever we're talking about, we give it a accuracy value or like bounds or we could call it limits. Now these bounds or limits give you an approximate value of the original value. Say for example, if my height is 163, I give it like a little limit. Say for example, between 162.5 to 163.5. So my height varies approximately in between those. This part, you basically have to find that boundary. Now this is very, very simple. All you need to do is if the actual value is some value here, we say it's going to be in between um, some measurement minus a half and a measurement plus a half. Probably under going, what is that? I'll try to explain to you what this means when we get to the questions because it's very, very simple. 26, it says state the accuracy for each of the following measurements. So the length of the pencil was 15 centimeters. So all we need to do is, if that's 15, from the first limit to the next limit, from the lower limit to the up the higher limit, it's gonna be a one centimeter gap, okay? Because 15 centimeters is in the nearest centimeter, isn't it? So we put it to the nearest one centimeter. Now 15 centimeter, it's from, one cent from this to this, which equals to one centimeter. So what we do is remember we add a half and subtract a half. So what's half of one? 0.5. So that point there will be 14.5 and that will be 15.5. So we add and subtract half of half of one on either side. So the values of accuracy are 14.5 and 15.5. Now B, the weight of a mobile phone is 370 grams. So again, 370 grams is to the nearest gram, isn't it? So I'm going to say it's from here to here, it's one gram. So what's a half of one gram? 0.5 gram. So that will be 369.5 and that will be 370.5. So the accuracy will be between that and that, those two values. That's all you need to do. Distance between town A and B is 5.2 kilometers. Now see how this time is to the nearest tenth. So it's gonna be, from here to here, it's gonna be 0.1. See how that's to the nearest 0.1 as well? So the accuracy will be 0.1. So what's half of 0.1? We say 0.05, isn't it? So we subtract 0.05 from 5.2 here, and we add 0.05 to 5.2 for the higher one, and we get this. The limits are between 5.15 kilometers and 5.25 kilometers. So you gotta really understand what value the original value, original number, is rounded to. If it's 5.2, we're going to use 0.1. If it was, say, 5.25, we should use 0.01. Okay, so I'll show you the next question. Capacity of a bottle is 7.25 litres. So this is what I mean. 7.25 litres is to the nearest hundredths, so it's going to be 0.01. So what's half of 0.01? 0.005. So you subtract 0.005 from there, we get this, and we add 0.005 here to get that. So the accuracy is between these two values. That's all you need to write. The height of a tree is 200 centimeters, set the accuracy. So if the height of the tree is 200 centimeters, and we want it to the nearest centimeter, it's simply gonna be, because it's to the nearest one centimeter, we're gonna try to have this gap as one centimeter. So what's half of a centimeter? 0.5. So we subtract 0.5 and add 0.5. So those are the accuracy levels, okay? This time they want you to correct with the nearest 10. So what I mean is I want this gap to be 10 centimeters. And what's half of 10? It's five. So we subtract five to get that one and add five to get that one. So it's gonna be 195 and 205, which are the accuracy levels. And the nearest 100, same kind of thing, I want this gap to be 100. So a half of 100 is 50, so it's going to be between 150 and 250. So that's a very rough estimate, isn't it? So that's the answer.
Okay, so as the limits of accuracy become bigger, the more rough estimate it becomes. The smaller gap is a very, very close estimate. Okay. Now D to the nearest millimeter. Now, you know that one millimeter is 0 0.1 centimeter, isn't it? So we want this gap to be 0 0.1 centimeters, which means half of 0 0.1 is 0 0.05. So that one should be 200 minus 0 0.05, 200 plus 0 0.05. So those are the values of accuracy. Okay, so it's between those two values.